All right, so the topic is religion is changing, bro. So we have a lady right here on the screen. She is the director of Christian education at the First Presbyterian Church in Iowa. If you are a Christian, this video is going to be a little bit disturbing for you. I want you to pay attention to this man here in the background, just his facial expression. So the lady here is about to give us a prayer. She's about to recite a prayer. Let me know what you think about it. I'll let you know what I think about it and uh, let's help each other in the comment section. Let's do this. This past Thursday, March 31st, was the International Transgender Day of Visibility. In the PCUSA, we welcome all of our transgender and queer siblings into this family and relationship with the Creator God. So today, I wish to pray a prayer that was written for this incredible day. Will you pray with me? Don't pray with her, bro. Just don't. O oh God of pronouns, we give praise to the Great One, the one who was identifiable as God. I am what I am, you say, the great they, the incarnate he and she, the God of trans being. Impregnating Mary, fathering God, breastfeeding God of many breasts, you, shadow, you shatter all stereotypes, making every single person male and female male and female intersex non-binary in your image exactly in your image spectrum rainbow god who put your promise for non-violence in the symbol for queer love before humanity knew because you knew who had joseph who could not sleep with a woman in a beautiful lady's cloak, perhaps of rainbow colors, before we knew, you knew. God of pronouns who said, you can call me he or she or they, whatever makes you feel closest to me. Invisible and visible God, on this day, where visibility and celebration, belated, belatedness, affirmation and acceptance is the bare minimum. Remind us that you are the God of pronouns, so you affirm and you celebrate them. God of Saul, Paul, Simon, Isaac, Jacob, Isaac, Simon, Peter, Abram and Sarai, and Abraham and Sarah. God of Joseph, of the coat of many colors, of the Ethiopian eunuch, of the Virgin Mary, God of all found families in the Bible. Remind us that you affirm us in our full identi identity, name, pronoun, found family, all of it. For this, we give you thanks and praise to the great I am, the great they them. <laughs> Thank you, God. And so in the now, now in the words that our mother our Father, and our sibling God taught us to pray, and pray with us now. Our Father, who art in heaven. Okay, I can't let her do this. She's about to add the Lord's Prayer to this crap that she just started with. So she gave you some type of gender flag rainbow prayer, and then she wants to add the Lord's Prayer next to it. Do you, do you see how crazy this is? The funny part... The funny part is this lady is connecting some type of rainbow and colors to God. She probably doesn't even understand where the rainbow flag comes from. She probably doesn't know the history of the LGBT symbol, which is the rainbow flag. And for anybody who doesn't know, the rainbow flag was created in 1978 by a designer, Vietnam War veteran, and a drag performer, uh, Gilbert Baker. He was commissioned to create a flag by another gay person, a politician of the name of Harvey Milk for San Francisco Annual Pride Parade. And guess what? At the time, he says here that the most commonly used image for the, for the gay right movement was the pink triangle, a symbol used by the Nazi to identify homosexual. So this lady doesn't even understand where 
the rainbow flag is coming from, right? She doesn't even understand the history behind that. But somehow she associated that to the Bible and to God and to Mary. It's amazing. So I have a report here, and it says here, Christian church leads prayer to the God of pronoun, the great day them who breastfeed. And this is exactly what she did. Part of her prayer here, O God of pronoun, we give praise to the great one, the one who was identifiable as God, the great day, the incarnate he and she, the God of trans being, bro. We're getting close, my guy. And this is the church website. That first Presbyterian church, this is their website. Watch this. On their website, you can see this. This is a Presbyterian church. But it says here, First Presbyterian Church of Iowa City, everyone is invited into full membership and ministry regardless of age, sexual orientation, gender, identity. Bro, nobody cares when you go to church. What's the last time you went to church and at the door, somebody asked, hey, what's your gender identity? Nobody cares, bro. But anyway, religion is changing, bro. Like there is an attack on religion. It's crazy out there. But there's more crazy report than that. Here's another report here from Red State saying a Catholic university speaker called for Christian to crucify their whiteness. What does that even mean? Here's another one. For Lent, a Chicago church is fasting from whiteness. Yo. So anyway, I posted this video just in case you didn't know what's happening out there in those church. All right. So this lady right here just created her own God. And she's trying to associate her own God, whatever God she's talking about, to the God that we know, that we pray to. This is amazing, bro. Yo, how about you just create your own religion? This is the United States. Go ahead and create your own religion and pray to whoever you want to pray to. That's, that's on you, bro. But anyway, let me know what you think about this, man. This is crazy. This is amazing. It's amazing what's happening out there. 2022. It's everywhere, on TV, now in church. Hey, man, just let me know what you think about it, and um, God bless you.